Mantras of our Divine Mother Our Divine Mother says at each moment of our life, in all circumstances, the grace is there helping us surmount all difficulties. With always our love and blessings, says our Divine Mother. Savitri, Book 1, The Book of Beginnings, Canto 4, The Secret Knowledge, page 83. Even when he sleeps, he keeps her on his breast. Whoever leaves her, he will not depart. To repose without her in the unknowable. There is a truth to know, a work to do. Her play is real, a mystery he fulfills. There is a plan in the mother's deep world will, a purpose in her vast and random game. This ever she meant since the first dawn of life, this constant will she covered with her sport to evoke a person in the impersonal void. When the truth light strike earth's massive roots of trance, wake a dumb self in the inconscient depths, and raise a lost power from its python sleep, that the eyes of the timeless might look out from time, and the world manifests the unveiled divine. For this he left his white infinity and laid on the spirit the burden of the flesh that Godhead seed might flower in mindless space. Words of our Divine Mother Taken from the Collective Works of Our Divine Mother, Volume 2, Topic, Faith and the Divine Grace, Subtopic, The Divine Grace. Our Divine Mother says, The Supreme has sent, The Supreme has sent His grace into the world to save it. It is the divine grace that must be prayed for if justice were to manifest. Very few would be those who could stand in front of it. Justice is a strict logical determinism of the moments of universal nature. Illnesses are this determinism applied to the material body. The medical mind, basing itself upon this inelectable justice, strives to bring about conditions that should lead logically to good health. The Divine Grace alone, says our Divine Mother, has the power to intervene and change the course of universal justice. The great work of the Avatar is to manifest the Divine Grace upon earth. To be a disciple of the Avatar is to become an instrument of the Divine Grace. The Mother is the great dispensatrix through identity of the Divine Grace with a perfect knowledge through identity of the absolute mechanism of universal justice. And through her meditation, each moment of sincere and confident aspiration towards the Divine calls down in response the intervention of the grace. Who can stand before the Lord and say in all sincerity, I have never made a mistake? 
how many times in a day we commit faults against thy word and always thy grace comes to efface them. Without the intervention of thy grace, who would not often times have come under the merciless blade of the law of universal justice? Each one here represents an impossibility to be solved. As for thy divine grace, all is possible. Thy work will be in the detail as in the whole. The accomplishment of all these impossibilities transformed into divine realization. Divine grace, thy goodness is infinite. We bow before thee in gratitude. Question, sweet mother, what is the rationale of divine grace? Is not the supreme mother always ready with her grace for those who can call it down? For this our divine mother says yes. Sweet mother, is it not true that even most of the seekers after God cannot call it down and yet they can receive if someone, a guru or avatar has once called it down within him? Is it so? Our Divine Mother says yes. The child says, Sweet Mother, so can we conclude that Divine Grace works best when it is established in the earth consciousness? Is it the aim of your endeavor to establish it permanently? Our Divine Mother says yes. Sweet Mother, please explain to me the whole principle. For this, our Divine Mother says, the Divine Grace cannot be explained through words and mental formulas. It is only the Divine Grace that can give peace, happiness, power, light, knowledge, beatitude and love in their essence and their truth. Who is worthy or unworthy in front of the Divine Grace? All are children of the one and the same Mother. Her love is equally spread over all of them, but to each one she gives according to his nature and receptivity. Say, I have received this grace of the divine, I must be worthy of it, and then all will be well. Let us give ourselves without reserve to the divine, so best shall we receive the divine's grace. The Divine's grace is equal for all, but each one receives it according to his sincerity. It does not depend on outward circumstances, but on a sincere aspiration and oneness. Right use of the granted grace, no deformation, no diminution, no exaggeration, a clear sincerity. Call of the Divine grace is not noisy, but persistent very perceptible to those who know how to listen. Next subtopic, the divine help. A divine mother says, whenever there is sincerity and goodwill, the divine's help also is there. Be ever one-pointed in your surrender and sincere in your aspiration and you will constantly feel the presence of the divine's help and guidance. With the divine's help, nothing is impossible. For nobody would sadhana be possible without the divine's help, but the help is always there. The help is always there. It is you who must keep your receptivity living. It is you who must keep your receptivity living. The divine help is much faster than what any human being is able to receive. Those who will be able to receive and become receptive by the mastery of the psychic upon the ego will know what this help is and will have the full benefit of it. Everyone is given his chance and the help is there for all, but for each the benefit is proportionate to his sincerity. Divine's help, modest in appearance and powerful in action. Faith in the divine grace and help with the next topic. Our divine mother says, have a steady faith in the divine's grace. Continue to have full faith in the divine's grace. Will, action and all will be all right. All depends on the intensity of the faith and firmness of the right attitude. Our divine mother says, the grace is always with you. Concentrate in your heart with a silent mind and you are sure also to receive the guidance and the help you aspire for. 
the grace and the help are always there for those who aspire for them and their power is limitless when received with faith and confidence the grace is always there ready to act but you must let it work and not resist its action the one condition required is faith when you feel attached call for help to sri aurobindo and myself if your call is sincere that is to say if you sincerely want to be cured your call will be answered and the grace will cure you yes faith in the grace always brings about its intervention for the grace to have a perfect and total result of its action the faith must be total and perfect once more the lack of faith of the human being the human mind brings complications and pain where with a quiet faith in the divine guidance all could be very simple and easy it is for the growth of this faith and confidence that i have been working for many years obviously the resistance is obstinate why disappointing if there is one in a hundred who has a true faith it is a great miracle the grace will never fail us such as the faith we must keep constantly in our heart it is lack of our faith that creates all limitations the divine grace is with us and never leaves us even when the appearances are dark the supreme's power is infinite it is our faith that is small at each moment of our life in all circumstances the grace is there helping us to surmount all difficulties in failure as well as in success the divine grace is always there the closer you come to the divine the more you live under a shower of overwhelming evidence of his immeasurable grace our faith in the omnipotence of the grace is never equal to what the grace itself is an absolute faith and trust in the grace is in the last analysis the supreme wisdom through this apparent chaos a new and better order is being formed but to see it one must have the faith in the divine grace cheer up question sweet mother in the present growing conflict what should be our attitude our divine mother says faith and total confidence in the divine grace it is when all seems lost that all can be saved when you have lost confidence in your personal power then you should have faith in the divine grace at the very moment when everything seems to go from bad to worse it is then that we must have a supreme act of faith and know that the grace will never fail us our divine mother says i mean act according to your inner conviction regardless of all consequences and keep your faith unshaken in spite of the apparent so called proofs to the contrary surely all this comes to teach us to have a quiet faith that is truly needed we shall have and that for the rest we must not bother a divine mother says in the final analysis everything really depends on the divine grace we should look at the future with confidence and serenity progressing at the same time as quickly as we can in an ardent faith lies salvation in the final in the final analysis it is the supreme lord who does all we must be faithful instruments have faith and unshaken confidence the divine grace will do the rest let us offer our will to the divine grace it is a grace that accomplishes all the grace the grace alone can act that alone can open the way that alone can do the miracle keep good faith in the grace she is the doer of all miracles we must learn to rely only and only on the divine grace and to call for its help in all circumstances then it will work out constant miracles 
however long the journey may be and however great the traveler at the end is always found exclusive reliance on the divine's grace the divine grace alone shall be our support trust in the divine's grace and help is a next sub topic our divine mother says the grace is infinite for him who sincerely trusts the grace the divine's grace is always with you and by your trust you allow its action to be effective it is in proportion to our trust in the divine that the divine grace can act for us and help integral trust in the divine the trust that gives the true support to life our trust in the divine must not depend upon outward circumstances very few are those who can stand firm on the rock of their faith and trust in the divine a divine mother says it is absurd to ask for help and yet to have no trust on the contrary with confidence everything becomes so easy with trust in the divine's grace all obstacles can be surmounted when we trust in the divine's grace we get an unfailing courage have full trust in the divine's grace and the divine's grace will always help you like the child who does not reason has no care trust thyself to the divine that his will may be done whatever happens we must remain quiet and trust the divine's grace keep a cool head strong and very quiet nerves a complete trust in the divine's grace aspiration for trust in the divine and intense need for that immutable peace given by the certitude of the divine grace nothing can be compared to the peace that comes from a total trust in the grace leave all care to the divine grace including your progress and you will be in peace question sweet mother how can i subdue the children's naughtiness when i tremble before it how can i call down an atmosphere in which these wrong moments will not occur no bad talk will come from the children's lips how can i bring peace and wisdom into this chaotic mob i am too weak too shy how should i act to be able to control this moment in them for this our divine mother says in order to bring peace and wisdom one must be wise and peaceful you say that you are weak but nobody is asking you to rely on your own strength your strength your wisdom your peace belongs to the divine and must rely on him alone have an absolute trust in the grace set aside your little personality and allow the grace to act it will make you do what is needed and everything will be all right this was stated by our divine mother on 4th july 1962 The more one knows the more one realizes that one knows nothing for one who has total trust in the divine in his wisdom and mercy there are no more problems the triumph of the divine is certain if we keep the true trust we shall never take the wrong path next sub topic the divine's grace and difficulties A divine mother says it is only by remaining perfectly peaceful and calm with an unshakable confidence and faith in the divine's grace that you will allow circumstances to be as good as they can be the very best happens always to those who have put their entire trust in the divine and in the divine alone a divine mother says when in your life you meet with a hardship take it as a grace from the lord and in, indeed it will become so in any case says our divine mother whatever happens always consider events as a gift from the divine's grace which is leading you by swift paths towards the spiritual goal of your life towards the spiritual goal of your life 
What can be done will be done, but it is a matter of regret that you waited so long for the warning. In any case, the only thing which is really effective is to will what the divine wills and to keep an unshakable confidence in the supreme compassion of the divine grace, for through that it is always the best that happens, not the best according to the human ideas, but the best according to the supreme truth. Be calm and full of a solid and pure faith. The only thing to do is accept quietly the conditions in which you find yourself, knowing that for him who has faith in the divine, it is always the best for him that happens. The divine does not want human beings to suffer, but in their ignorance, human beings react in such a way that they bring suffering upon themselves. In peace, Quietness and surrender is the only solution. All depends on what you want. If you want yoga, take all that happens as the expression of the divine's grace leading you towards your goal and try to understand the lesson that circumstances give. For those who have given themselves to the divine, each difficulty that confronts them is the assurance of a new progress and thus must be taken as a gift from the grace. A Divine Mother says, when difficulties besiege you, note that the Divine Grace is with you. People believe that the Grace means making everything smooth for all your life. It is not true. The Grace works for the realization of your aspiration and everything is arranged to gain the most prompt, the quickest realization, says our Divine Mother.